Hi guys, welcome to Registering with Diva. I'm going to take you through how to register on the Diva website. Now, when you come into the Diva website, you've got the different divisions that we have, the model management, production, events, model training, influences, promotions. And um, if you are a model or a cast or an actor or an entertainer or a stylist or a photographer or a DOP, you need to register with Diva. How do we do that? So we go into register now when you come to register you have a registration form like this now under the registration form you have different options so you can choose whether you are under host or models or a promoter or locations or an influencer like an Instagram or whatever a director entertainer a photographer stylist event support etc etc right now when you are uh, registering in uh, diva you let's assume we are registering as a model you click on to models or a promoter now when you click on to uh, models you will have this form that comes up so you need to start with filling out your details so let's assume that i'm putting my details it is nicole and uh, i put my family name rodriguez I go into putting myself as male, female, boy or girl. Boy or girl are for kids, so female. I choose my date of birth, so let's say I choose myself as March, but I want to choose myself as which year I'm born in, so you can choose the year you're born in. So assuming you're born in the 80s, 85, um, March, and whatever your birth of date, date of birth is, you can put your number here. Which is your mobile number, 3421613. That's my number. Uh, your WhatsApp number, if it's different, you can put that or put your WhatsApp number. You put that here. Note that if you're from a different country, you can also choose the country code that your respective country is. Then here you put your email address, right? You fill that up, you fill your address. You put your nationality, whatever your nationality is, that is your nationality, is your passport that you have. Um, and then you choose the correct country that you're living in. So if you're living in the United Arab Emirates, you put that here so that we know if you're living in the country, which country you're living in. Now, which city are you based in? Are you based in Dubai? Then click Dubai, right? Now, when you go into ethnicity, you can choose ethnicities based on your look. So let's say you have a German passport, but you look Arab, you need to put Arabic. If you ha are Indian and have a, let's say, Chinese passport, you put Indian. So it's the look that you follow. But in promoters, you actually put your actual um, ethnicity based on your passport. Right now, I choose myself as Indian. And my height is in centimeters, so I need to choose my height based on that. So I put my height, I put my weight is based on kilograms, so you can put that based on kilograms. Your color, you know, whatever your color is, so let's say your color is 20. Your bus size, depending on whatever your bus size is, these are centimeters, so you need to put your appropriate centimeter. Use a measuring tape for it. Um, your bus size, depending on what your bus size is, again measure yourself with the measuring tape. Your waist, also based on that. Um, and then your hips, based on that. Your shoe size is based on um, what your shoe size is. And then you have your dress size, which is an 8 or a 10 or whatever you use. Um, a pant size, as in what waist do you use. And then your hair color, so you need to choose your hair color, so it's black or brown or blonde or red or whatever. And uh, your hair length, whether it's long or short or medium. Then you have your eye color. And then you have the languages that you speak. So if you, let's say, speak English and you speak Hindi and Arabic and you speak, um, let's say, whatever other languages, you can choose here. And let's say I speak Danish as well, so I speak Danish too, yeah. And then I put my visa status. So am I a tourist, visit visa, residence, father, mother visa, husband visa. 
So I'm on a residency, so I'm going to put that as a residence. Then I go on to specialization. So do I also act? Yes. I do fashion shows? Yes. Do I do a hands and feet modeling? Yes. Am I a host or an MC? If not, no. MC, no. Do I do e-commerce shoots? Yes or no, depending on whether you do or not. Here I select my respective images. So I'm going to start selecting my images that work for me. I can also resize my images here. So I can choose my images and choose to resize them depending on whatever size I want to use. Right? So I can move it to having that as a close up. You can use the round scroll on your um, on your mouse to increase or reduce the size of the image. So you can reduce and increase the size by running the round sort of, you know, um, mouse, you know, the thing to expand or reduce the size of the image on your mouse. So crop it. Be patient with um, it being cropped because it is being picked up from your source and being cropped. Once your image is cropped, the first image is always your close-up image, right? So you want to always use a close-up as the first image. And then you want to use, you want to upload all the work that you have done. So, you know, your different shoots and your different fashion shows is what you want to upload here. So, and if you haven't done that, then you want to upload your portfolio here accordingly, right? So let's upload other images of mine, yeah? So we're uploading the second one, which is fine. Please note that as you upload your images, the images are being resized. Do not upload images that are very low resolution because they get pixelated. And then when you send your composite card for approvals, they get rejected. So you want to upload images that are nice and sharp and not very low resolution. And then you crop the other half and then you upload it like that. Okay, now we go to Polaroid. So Polaroids are pictures or images that you shoot of yourself as without any makeup or, you know, uh, your front to back, your full length as a Polaroid, right? So now let's do one and show you how a Polaroid is done. So you select your respective Polaroid. So you update, upload your respective Polaroid. So let's say this is your Polaroid, you open and you upload it and then you upload your respective Polaroids, your front, your back, your um, Now you upload your catwalk video. The way we do this is we upload our video to our YouTube accounts, okay? And then we just follow the link of um, of our video. So let's say our video is um, 
loaded. Our catwalk video is loaded. We copy the link and then we copy this link and we paste this link here. So if you have more videos, you can upload them and post them. Once that's done, you go ahead and you put your showreel. So if you have any commercials or anything of that sort that you've done, so you can just do that, upload that as well. So you go on to your respective commercial, you upload, highlight the link, copy, you paste the link on the your studio. I'm dying back here. It's on. Can't you feel? And then you add all your different showreels that you have here, and then you just click Add Talent. Now this comes to us um, in Diva for approvals. So in case there are any images that are not appropriate, or um, if there are any is any material that's not appropriate, it gets um, approved or disapproved. Now let's take you through register. So this is how you click register. Right. And you can do that for any different categories. So if you're a promoter, you make your own composite card. Now, if you look at your dashboard, which you have created, you will see that you can actually access your own dashboard and you can edit your profile, update, upload, you know, whatever you need to get done with your profile. So you see now I've uploaded this and if I want to change anything I can update my pictures or I can change whatever I need to. My numbers have changed or my emails have changed. I can update that too. 